This is New Life Church. It was originally built by the Dutch Reformed before the Revolution, and at that time it was an entirely white congregation. And after the independence of Zimbabwe, more and more white people moved out of the area, and as a result, this congregation decided to sell the building, and they sold it to someone we know, John Nell. As you can see, coming in the driveway, this church is really part of a complex. Um, as you can see, as we turn around, there's quite a bit of land here. And during conferences, people will come from the rural areas and they will actually camp here during three days for the conference. They'll bring their own cooking utensils and they'll, uh, they'll camp right out here during the conference. In front of us is what is a day school for the children. And since COVID-19, unfortunately, this building is not being used at all. Uh, here in Zimbabwe, a lot of things are locked down. Uh, you cannot go out in public without a mask on. And it's, uh, it's just a very, just, it's a very difficult situation. This is the entrance to the church that most people use on Sunday morning. Once again, anyone who comes to church on Sunday must, by law, be vaccinated. Otherwise, they're not permitted to come to church. People are allowed to gather in their homes, but in no public place, including churches, are they allowed to come unless they've been vaccinated, and they must prove it by giving them a card. Kind of dark here in the church building but you can get an idea i mean this is a pretty nice place and this is where jan ministered for many years he raised up regis who's been now pastoring for 44 years and uh, i had a chance to minister here each time that i've come to zimbabwe except of course this time Right next to the church building is another outbuilding that's part of the property as well. And that's rented out to uh, businesses. Uh, there's an attorney that uses that as well. You can see it's a beautiful area to gather and lots of flowers and just a beautiful area, quite honestly. So as I said, right next to the church, you just come up only a little ways and in front of all these beautiful flowers is the entrance to the pastor's home that he rents here in Chiredzi. And you can't see a lot of it because of all the trees around it, but this is the entryway. Most of the houses are guarded in one form or another by fences or walls. Some of the more expensive houses have walls with even razor wire on this isn't typical for places in Zimbabwe, but in the cities, you'll see more houses than huts, which you typically see in rural areas. One of the benefits of staying here with the pastor and his wife is that they rent this house that is right next to the church building. In the backyard is a swimming pool that is filled with goldfish. And then right here in the back patio are just amazing flowers. And the sun goes down in such a way that you can sit in the shade in the afternoon, read your Bible, spend time with God. Just amazing. The whole region is just filled with flowers and all kinds of nature to commune with God. 